Happy birthday, Nip! <laughs> Dog, we go live Sunday to Thursday to barbershop. Man, South Central Harlem's best barbershop in the world. We on Spotify, Patreon, barbershop conversations. Man, I just dropped three videos a day on Patreon. Um, oh, man. Boxing is dead, dog. I'm just going to say this shit right now. Boxing is dead. Boxing ain't nothing without the fans, dog. The fans, I thought it was the talent. Dog, boxing ain't nothing without you. Boxing ain't nothing without you. You know what I mean? Not unless it's like a highly competitive, hellacious fight. It don't even got to be a lot of punches. Just very, very competitive, man. But let me get on what I was talking about. Jamel Charlo and Tank Davis says they cheated for Rowley. They thought that the other guy won. Forgive me for forgetting the young man's name. Um, I agree. I thought he won the fight. Uh, what can you do? What can you do, man? Boxing is dead and boring. It's, it's it ain't. I'm gonna do a video on that right after this video. But um, he was robbed. Rowley didn't win that fight, and I would tell Rowley that I didn't think you won the fight. Uh, very robotic, very like not as good as Floyd performance. That stab jab to the body from 30 feet away don't really work. Uh, honestly. All that fighter had to do was roll, literally roll Rolly's right hand. <laughs> triple R. You know what I mean? The double, the triple R gets you the double R. If, if you roll Rolly's right, you can get a Rolls Royce. <laughs> you know what I mean? That fight was, honestly, if I was 20 something years old, I would fight Rolly next. Honestly. I would, I would give me six months to make 135. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Rolly is easy to beat. I'm not gonna, man. He's easy. He, he got a lot of work to do. And Mayweather Promotions, I'm just gonna say this right now. They're not great at matchmaking. I'm, I'm not gonna say they're the worst in the business because I don't know that. But their matchmaking is, sheesh, terrible. Dog, you put Roly, you put Roly in there with a bona fide boxer, and you know he's in your, he's in your gym every day. He's in your gym every day. <laughs> what I will say, the guy came in in great shape. Roley came in in great shape. Um, Coach Larry Wade, I believe he had him. Uh, great job. Yeah, I saw his. I saw his uh, his logo on the, on the back of the shorts. Great job. And I'm glad you got a logo, Coach Larry Wade. Now you're about to be famous. You know, what I mean, everyone's gonna be coming to you now. Um, yeah, man, it's uh, poosh. it's awful awful man it's and, and, and the irony about it is Rowley can be good just gotta slow him down slow him down take him back and what I will say Rowley is a competitor he said anybody at 135 the nigga was just on live with Tiafima Lopez yesterday and said I'll fight you too so where uh, so where's uh so what's Terrence Crawford and uh Sean Porter's excuse man I love his competitive spirit though I love your com oh shit how the fuck did that car get over there? No fucking way. If y'all saw what I saw, they're doing construction on the freeway. How did that? Anyways, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. And I'm not. It's just the most dumbest thing you ever seen. They're doing construction on the freeway. Cones are up, and the car is in the divot because they're they, they're making new lanes. They put new concrete down. And the motherfuckers fell in a hole. How you do that in this cones? Anyways, man, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that smart. So, what I'll just say, it's man, it's uh, it's pathetic, man. Boxing is dead. But get back to rolling. I I I like his competitive spirit. I, I believe he was in great shape. First time he went past like six or seven rounds, if I'm not mistaken. Every time I've seen Rolly, the motherfucker knocked the motherfucker out, put him in the hospital. Uh, but Rowley got a lot of work to do. Uh, he can come. He can literally come become a whole new fighter because there's so much to work with. Y'all may not see it, but it, it, it's, it's some stuff there. Uh, but 
he's he gonna have to humble himself. He's gonna have to humble humble himself. And he's gonna have to unlearn to learn, if that makes any sense. Or matter of fact, just learn. You know, he got to throw away that stab jab. Don't work. You know, what I mean, bend your knees. You know, man, put some uh, flexion in your knees and just throw a jab. Throw a power jab. That throw a power jab, man. You know, uh, not active enough. Got to throw more punch. I'm not breaking this fight. I'm just gonna say I agree with Tank Davis and Jamel Charlo. Um, he was right. Anyways, man, I'm going, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel. We going live tomorrow night. It's DB's birthday. Tonight is Nipsey's birthday. And uh, we're going to turn up one time, man. We're going to turn up one time for the Kings, man. Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.